Hey everyone, I'm up at camp for a little while and I wanted to make a video so that you're not waiting for too long uh, for the next video. So I have some firewood here that needs to be split up. So I went to the trading post and I got this fixer, uh, this Fiskars splitting axe. I've heard they're really nice axes and uh, also what sold me was that they have a lifetime warranty. So I've broken a lot of axe handles in the past and hopefully this one either won't break or if it does, uh, they'll replace it. So I just, um, it was a little more expensive than the other axes. After tax, it was about $65, but I think it's gonna be worth the money uh, because it's just built well. They're made in Finland. So I'm gonna do a little splitting with this ax today. I've already split a few pieces, but this is basically my first time using it. And I'll just tell you what I think of it. So I'm just gonna split up uh, some hardwood and softwood just this mix of stuff we have around here. So here's a nice piece of softwood. I'll start with that one. Softwood I think is a little harder to split than hardwood just because it's uh, it sort of absorbs the impact of the ax whereas the hardwood just breaks apart more easily. This birch is a little bit punky, so it'll probably be pretty hard to get through with this axe. So I might just have to burn some of this stuff out in the campfire or something. So I'm going to move over and start working on some of the firewood that's over there. It might be a little less punky, and uh, I might be able to get through it a little bit easier. Find a good chopping block.
overall this X seems to split uh, pretty well. It's the first splitting axe I've had. I've used a few mauls. I have a monster maul that I've used a little bit, but that's really heavy. This one is quite a bit lighter and just more maneuverable. So yeah, I prefer this over anything else I've used. Plus it has that lifetime warranty and I'm sure I'll have to use that at some point. Um, but there's no damage on this part of the handle yet, which is the spot where it always splinters on a wood handle um, but it seems to work great so yeah I'll keep you posted and uh, tell you if I have any problems with it but so far it looks uh, like a great axe and I also want to thank Joe at Ohio Woodburner for promoting my channel in one of his recent videos uh, because since he posted that video I've gained I think over 150 subscribers so it's just made my channel uh, grow so quickly. And he also sent me an Ohio Woodburner t-shirt and he's just really helped out my channel a lot over the past few weeks, so thank you, Joe. And I'm gonna keep this video short for today just because I'm posting it from camp, so um, I don't want it to take too long to upload. Uh, so that's all for today's video and I'll try to get a few more posted uh, in these next couple of weeks. So I'll see you on the next one.